right, so there's another big pile of boxes in front of me. So I think that means mail time? Mail time! <laughs> This may seem like a lot less than what we usually open in a fan mail opening video, but I think I have a lot of envelopes here to open and questions to answer, and I think when we're done, we will officially be caught up for April 2020. Hooray! Hooray! Finally! Yay! David sent us a shed skin, a really nice shed skin. So now Ed has to guess what species it came from. Say a ball python. It is yeah. good job. You can tell by the saddles. Yep, look at that. And how thick it is with the skinny belly scoots. True. Whoa, we just got Swedish chocolate from Sega. Which one do you want? I'll take the pink one. Pink? That one's her favorite, I guess. That's Swedish chocolate. Yeah, Swedish chocolate. I bet it's good. Ooh. It's good. It's good. It's good. Oh, it had things in it. What things? I don't know. The little red things. Thanks, Sega, for the chocolate. I have a thing that says, snakes may be cold-blooded, but they're not cold-hearted. Aww. And this was sent by Alex, and she sent you a bunch of shells and a cute little squirtle pin. Aww. However, it's missing the back. Aww, I love it. Okay, if we find a back somewhere, I will wear it right now. So thank you, Alex. Thank you. You being inept at hard-boiling eggs must have been a thing because the Penkert family Okay. Sent you an egg timer <laughs> that shows you how to hard boil eggs in water. Oh my gosh, this yeah. is a thing? Oh cool, so it changes color based on it, like when they're done. Mm -hmm. This is genius! Yeah, so now you have to try that with boiling water and see if you can do it that way. Now I'll have two ways to for sure hard boil eggs. I'll never do it wrong again. Penkert family, thank you so much! That was really nice of you to send this. I will use it too. So Lucas sent you a painting and this wooden necklace. Aw, Lucas, two that's e's so on it. cute. Aw, E and E. Yeah. Ed and Emily. I'm gonna wear it right now. There we go. Pieces. Nice. Yay! Do you like it? Look at that. Yay! She likes it too. Thanks, Lucas. Okay, Ed, Lena has some questions for you. We're gonna do quick fire. First thing that comes to mind. What is your favorite ice cream? Uh, Rocky Road or, or Moose Tracks. Moose Tracks, that one. Ooh, good choice. Okay, what is your favorite cat? Cat? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Quick. I mean, I like Spidey, but I think, if anything, I'd get the, the hairless. The Ooh, a Sphinx? Sphinx. Cool, good choice. Okay. And what is your favorite song? Hmm. I don't have a favorite song. They're all so good. <laughs> you like all the songs? All the songs. Sam wrote us a very sweet note and included... Pokemon cards, which is awesome. Nice, and he was so nice to send even a couple dollars to go for Rex. So what we're doing with this, thank you so much by the way, Sam, is we have saved the Rex's Fish Funds box that was sent to us in a previous fan mail opening. And I'm going to store all the donations in here and then one day we're gonna go shopping and maybe we'll make a video about it where we just spoil the heck out of Rex and our other animals from the donations that you send. Thank you, Sam. So this is a package from Bailey. Oh, cool. Ooh, painted. Is that like handmade? Like... Oh, Bailey, that's an awesome handmade snake. That's adorable. Oh, oh, a dollar. Gosh, Bailey, you're so nice here. We'll put it in Rex's fish funds. Thank you. So Ashley not only sent these really cool handmade snake discovery stickers, but also some cards, some Pokemon cards. Oh, nice, nice holographic polywag. And there's a thank you for these, by the way. And there's also a question in here that I want to ask Ed. During the video where you knock down walls in your new building, why are the only family members helping Emily's? My family's all freeloaders, I guess. They don't want to help out with the facility. Most of my family lives in Michigan. Uh, my parents now live in Florida, and my sister lives in Kentucky. So I am the only Roberts of my gen lineage in this area. Yeah, That's why true. there was no, nobody <laughs> to help the Ed. He's the only one left. <laughs> you have me and my family, it's okay. Yep, that's true. On a different note, Charlene, 
sent us some really cool things. I didn't throw the note just because, but I read it. It's an awesome note. Charlene sent us this little guy. Whoa! And then, even cooler, they sent us <gasps> Snake Discovery Coasters. Oh my gosh! Isn't that cool? Those are super cool! Are they made out of wood? They're wood with a cork background. Charlene, these are amazing! Thank you! Like we will use these. <laughs> we do not have snake discovery. We don't really have coasters, but now we'll be using them. So Katie sent us this rock which is painted with Snake Discovery, Milk Snake. My Milk Snake better than yours. That's so cool. Yeah. Whoa, that's really neat. Okay, so we should do something because we sometimes get painted. You can't chew on the rock. Oh, we sometimes get painted rocks, right? So what if we... Now we have a lot of them outside of our house right we now. We keep them outside of our house right now, but what if we put all the painted rocks that are sent to us at our facility outside? Should we we get a that? lot of rocks in the mail, though. That's okay. You can send us painted rocks in the mail. That'd be really cool. Okay, this is going to our facility outside. Thank All you right. so much. Yeah, thank you, Katie. You started this collection officially. From Daniel, Daniel sent us some really nice Pokemon cards here. We've got things like, I'm going to guess, one of them's Machop, or Machoke. Going to kind well, of... Throw, and Pansage, and Machoke, and... So Viper. I like hearing you pronounce Pokemon names. Those are all the right way to you pronounce those. You did it. You did it. You yeah, did it. <laughs> I got those ones. Also, Daniel sent us these two Pokemon cards. Nice. That Look at is that sex man right cool. there. This is your Facebook uh, picture. Oh, that's right. It's not, it used to be your. Used to your, be, not anymore. So Daniel yeah. went Facebook stalking, stalking. and Freaky. found these pictures. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, because that's noodle around my neck. This that's is right. when our family took fam my family took family photos. Mm -hmm. I'm a cameraman and I'm a nerd. Oh. Nice. What are my moves? Your animal passion and snake discovery. Sweet. You do more damage than me. And As you, I should. And you have a lot more health. This is not fair at all. I have 30 health. <laughs> Yeah. I think they're accurate. No, they're not accurate I at all. I love them, Daniel. No. I think these cards are great. Those I love aren't very the stats. good at all, Daniel. <laughs> this is from Erica in Canada. Canada, eh? Canada, eh? She sent us oh a cute little coin purse. From Newfoundland. Newfoundland, yes, <laughs> that's what it is. There's also a Newfoundland saltwater starfish or sea uh, star. That's really cool. In the winter they often die and wash up on the beach. Look at this! Cheyenne Aww. knows! Treats Banana for Cheyenne! Chips. Aww! Thanks, Erica! Should we give her one? Have sure. you been a good enough girl to get one? No, she really hasn't. She's hey. been really terrible recently. Yeah, she's just moody. Oh. Here, have a treat! Mmm! Mm. Oh, wow! She uh, wished she her head She really liked that treat. I mean, she really likes it. Is that good? Oh, she loves it! Oh, there's chocolate. Canada! Ooh, ooh Canada caramel ooh. chocolate, eh? Look at that! I'm gonna have to try it. Hmm. Does it taste like a giant Kit Kat? Tastes like a giant stale Kit Kat. Mm. I think it's supposed to be. Really good flavor, you should try it. Thank you, Erica. JJ sent us six Pokemon cards and he specifically said three of them are for Ed and three are for you. So, pick three. It'll be your <laughs> starter team. Really? Like that? Okay. Yep. What'd you get? I got Pikachu, Fennekin, and Poliwhirl. Nice. I got Feebas, Ponyta, and Flareon. Mm. I think my three would beat your three. Uh, I have Poliwhirl, and two of yours are Fire, and Ooh. the other one's Feebas. But that could be melodic someday. Yeah, but it's not. That's true. And then I have Pikachu. Dang. I don't know. I well, think I might win this one. I think you'd win this one. Thanks, JJ. Carson wants to know what's a good first reptile to get. Ooh, first reptile, if you're looking for a snake, I would do a corn snake. Or a, a lizard, I would do either a crested gecko, bearded dragon, or leopard gecko, depending on what you're looking for in a lizard. You should check out, we have a top five best beginner snakes video that can give you more details on the snakes though. He also sent a snake and some Pez and oh, some cool. Pokemon cards. I'm gonna do the same thing with you. Ooh, how many should I choose? Three. This, this one, and this one, and this oh, one. Aww, you picked all the okay ones. What? Oh, nice! Greninja, Wimpod, and Meganium. Yep. That's I, a good team. I got Pikachu. That's a red Gyarados! Gyarados, red Gyarados and Gudra. Oh my yeah. gosh! <laughs> 
I don't know who so, would win this. So I think... Uh, I think you'd probably win this one. Uh, that red Gyarados is pretty sweet. I didn't know they made shiny cards. Yeah, I didn't either. That's, That's so cool. cool. Yeah, Thank you. That's our first shiny Pokemon yeah. card. Thank you, Carson. I have from Christopher five dollars that was oh. really nice of you christopher because i know that was like your money that you said i promise this will go straight to rex's straight fish funds it'll go right here we will use it on rex or some of our snakes we will we will utilize that and put it in a good place i promise and he also sent us this really cool artwork nice i, I really like Shy cheyenne in here yeah cheyenne's got a big nose what do you think that's you Yay! Oh, that's, that's what Yay. you think of it. It's really cute. Thank you, Christopher. So, Michaela sent you a gift that you need to unwrap. Aw, it's like a print, like yeah. a Christmas gift. I don't think it was sent at Christmas. What is this? Oh my gosh, I had it upside down. It's a cobra Whoa, pendant. Oh, that's cool. Like a necklace Whoa. with a cobra on it. That is really cool. Thank you so much, Michaela. Gotta put it on. Oh, I've gotta put this on right now. Yeah. There you that go. is awesome! I can't wait to wear this around. No way! This is a legit duct tape wallet made by Piper. That is so cool. I had one of these in high school that I made, but I haven't had one in a long time. But here we go. Got one again. Henry sent you a bracelet first off. Aw, thanks, Henry. I'll put and it on right now. A dollar. Aw, Henry! You didn't have to do that. A and bar of chocolate. You know me too well, yeah. Henry. He really likes Martha because he's going to be getting a ball python soon. Aw, Martha is definitely a sweetheart. I, I hope your ball python is as friendly as Martha. This might last me Two all seconds? Of, I was going to say 30 seconds. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah. Give me, You're give me your some. Sa You're yeah. savoring. Okay. Exactly. Okay, Jessica sent us a feather test. And since I opened it, I'm going to let you do the feather test. There's three rounds. Ready? Round one. Uh, Bungle. Bloom Gold Macaw. Okay, there's actually. Tell from the back side of that one. Round two. Bloom Gold. Bloom Gold Macaw. <laughs> Round three. African Gray. Good job, African Gray. Round four. What in the world? Is this a parrot? Nope. Uh, goose. Close. Uh, is it a game bird? Yes. It's more common than a goose at farms. Chicken? Yeah, it's a chicken okay. feather! Good job. Alright, that makes sense. I was like, that doesn't look like a parrot feather. Yeah. Have to go into our feather jar, of course. So, there we go. We have a lot of blue and gold macaw feathers Yeah, we do. There. I like the macaw collection that we yeah. have going. It's pretty great. Filine, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, sent us apparently some of the best chocolate in Austria. <gasps> in Austria? Yeah, Zotter chocolates. Whoa. Yeah. And then they're known apparently for their different combinations. Oh my gosh! So like that's a card full of chocolate bars. Yeah. He said they're known for their weird flavors. Ooh. So I got you one with red currants and chili. Another one oh, with passion fruit, caramel, and thyme. The second oh. one also has a little bit of sugar cane spirit, which I only noticed after I got home. I cannot read anything on these labels, but I am very excited to try these. They'll just be surprises when we try each flavor. <laughs> Should I try one that I know says caramel or one that's a mystery? Try a mystery. A mystery, okay. Top or bottom? Uh, bottom. Okay. That one looks like it has banana in it. Ooh, banana chocolate? I don't know. Maybe it's like banana dipped in chocolate? Yeah, so. That is weird. Is it? It doesn't even taste like chocolate. What does it taste like? It tastes like chocolate uh, um, cinnamon toast crunch. With bananas With in bananas. It? Like if you were to put bananas in a bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. We figured it out. Yeah. We'll have to do this with all the flavors. Yeah. Try to figure out what they all are. Thank you. I can't wait to try all of these. Uh, so Logan sent you a note with a green tree python. It even asked, do you like his green tree python? Do Here's you a like pencil. my green tree? Oh. Okay. Aww. And it, and unfortunately, like here's me? his green tree python. Oh. I got a little squished in the mail. Thank Logan, you for that. Yes, I love the green tree python. Chan took your pencil. Don't you do the erase. 
So I have from Morgan some mystical or mythical creatures that she has made. And Whoa. we have to pick one. Uh, we could do all four, but I think we're just going to do one. And try to identify the four animals that make up that creature. Bottom left. So this one? It's the most green. So this one, what four animals are in there? Cat, bird, dog, turtle. Cat, bird, dog, turtle. Okay. It's, you got turtle. You got yeah. turtle. And then it's falcon for the bird. So it's a bird. you kind of yeah, got that. Bird. But then it's tiger, it's which is a kind of a cat. That's a form of a okay, cat. Okay, fine, fine. And salamander. You didn't get that one. You got. You did pretty well, though, I'd say. I don't I'd see say. salamander in there, but... Nice job, Morgan. These are awesome. Yeah, those are really cool. So Leah sent you a couple things. First off, catch! Oh, wow. He's yeah. got lints. Lints chocolate. Apparently exotic Ooh. lints chocolates. Exotic. Yeah. Whoa. Tastes like mango? Yeah, really tastes like wow, mango. that's cool. That's really good. She also sent you something pretty cool, too. Yeah? The big Pokemon card. Ready for it? Yep. I'll show the audience first. Oh, man. Ugh, yeah, what look at that. What could it be? What's your guess? We both have it in Pokemon Go. Mewtwo? Nope. Is it a legendary? No. A Tyranitar? Oh, Tyranitar! Oh my gosh! That's epic! Oh, that's an epic card. Oh my gosh, it's even holographic! It's Mega Tyranitar too, did yeah. you see that? These are amazing gifts. Stanley sent us something you don't see very often. Oh, a a two-dollar $2 bill. bill. Yeah, isn't that cool? And a beautiful snake. Yeah. He has a question on the back. It's my snake won't eat probably because I recently got him, but what? do you know why? You probably hit the nail on the head. Uh, snakes usually don't eat when you first get them. That's why after you get a new snake, let them sit for about a week before you even hold them because that'll um, increase your chances of them eating successfully for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. It even says to buy... Um, a dog toy for Rex. Oh, cool. So yeah, we'll we that. will use this. I will gingerly peel the tape off of it. That is cool. I haven't seen a $2 bill yeah. in a long time. I know somebody went to like a fast food place with a $2 bill once. Yeah, it was a Taco Bell. It was a Taco Bell? Yep. And they didn't accept it because they thought it was fake money. Yep, they didn't accept it and then they called the manager over and they still didn't accept it. Isn't that so, nuts? Yep. So yes, in the States, we do have a $2 bill. You just don't see them at all, even though they're still made. They're just like rare, I guess. Yeah. But they're still legit. Stegan and Lily sent you. Stegan's got some artwork that's gonna be at the end of the video. Mm -hmm. And Lily painted this guy. Aw, piebald ball python. She said it was really cool that we used the piebald during that one, the cage setup video. Oh that yeah. We borrowed from Prince of these reptile. Yep. Because that's her favorite type of snake. Aww. Yeah. We like piebald ball pythons too. Great painting, Lily. We'll have to have that in the background of some videos. Mm hmm Cool. I like this one from Jackson in North Branch. Open here. Okay. I got it. You should fill one of your office walls with fan art. Yes, totally doing that. Uh, all sorts, ooh, like a hand knitted? Would that be knitted? Hand knitted turtle? And some cool artwork. Cute, oh Rex. Totally worth the effort. Thank you, Jackson. Jessica from across the pond sent this cool little alligator keychain. And then also, some chocolate. Whoa, thank you. Ooh, this is Cadbury caramel. Yeah. That's going to be delicious. I've never heard of galaxy. You should throw that on the ground and then eat it. All right. Here, you want to try it? Sure. Whoa. Nice. It's like super silky. Yeah, it's very smooth chocolate. Yeah, I approve of this brand. Yeah. This is delicious. Thank, Thank you, you, Jessica. Jessica. Well, Emmy sent you a really cool uh, note with some artwork of your Doug the Boa. Aw, Doug and the Boa. Also, a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Yep. Emmy? Yeah. Whoa, oh my gosh. You did send a lot in here. Holy cow, Emmy. That yeah. was very nice of you. We'll have to use it to feed Doug because Doug's her favorite. Oh, perfect. Okay, we will yeah. put this towards Doug in that case. Yeah, we'll if get you... Doug a nice rat. There we go. Oh, he's going to love a rat from you. And this, this will cover a rat, so this will be perfect. Thank you so much. Rex's, Rex's bank. Even though I know how much was there, yeah. we're gonna set that aside for that'll Doug. Go to Doug. Yep, that'll go to Doug. I have from Amelia a new friend for Cheyenne. A new what turtle do you think? friend. It's a turtle friend.
friend. Don't you want his face? He's that was friend. Ed's first word. Turtle. turtle. <laughs> yeah, you weren't normal like mama or daddy. Yeah. What was turtle. yours? Mama. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yep, my That's first right. words were thank you. <laughs> Followed by sorry. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Neither of us were normal. Em Emily's Canadian <laughs> at heart. Oh, I am. Hey. <laughs> Kristen sent us both a bar of chocolate. Aww. You mean both to me? Aww. Okay, okay, that was such a sad noise. Yay, okay. I got a bar of Aww, chocolate. Aww, Ghirardelli. Ooh, it's cho caramel. Yeah. Chocolate caramel. Ooh. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you. Leah made something really cool here. These patches. Aw, cool. One of each of us. Isn't that cool? She got you the cameraman. Nice. My hair looked like that earlier today. <laughs> it did before you took a shower. Yeah. She did such a good job yeah, on these. Yeah, those are awesome. I love them. She also uh, included a couple questions while I have chocolate here. Why do um, some snake owners keep the shed of their snake? Mm. Sometimes it's just such a perfect shed, you don't want to throw it away, but then you don't know what to do with it, so you end up with sheds. They also make good isopod foods. They do. You they can do. make jewelry out of them. She just pooped on my shirt. Some people keep sheds because it's a way to show how much their snake has grown. Yep. So they can remind themselves how small they were at the beginning. Could you do uh, informational videos about readyard sliders? Or any good website I could use? I always recommend checking out Reptiles Magazine. They have really good informational articles on like every species out there. So I would look into that. Or Clint's Reptiles might have an episode about ready or slider care. Yeah, Wouldn't maybe. surprise me if he does. Yeah, that's what I'd recommend. But yeah, maybe someday we'll have to do a video about ready or sliders yeah, too. Maybe we can go to like a rescue for ready or sliders. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Thank you so much, Leah. Not a thank you to you though for pooping on my shirt. I have to yeah. go clean that now. Emily will be back after these technical difficulties. Well, Molly sent us some cute pictures of her parakeets. Aww. And then she sent me a bracelet and you a bracelet. Ooh, okay. <sighs> Sweet. And then, <gasps> whoa! Look at that, the collection. Oh my, I didn't know there was more than one kind, the gold I one. I only knew the gold one existed. Oh, it says on the back, fine dark chocolate is the, this one. Oh, is the other one white chocolate Hazelnut then? Hazelnut is this one. Okay. And then this one is crisp coconut. Ooh, those will be good. With a whole almond in the center. Nice. So these will be delicious. Thank you, Molly. Cheyenne has been trying to climb up onto my shoulder this entire time. She's been a twerp all night. Yeah, she's in a mood. I turned myself into a card, Morty. So Courtney and Kelsey sent you some cool artwork. Oh, cool. And a note and some bracelets and oh, chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yeah, oh my gosh. 72%. There you go. Whoa, a whole bar of it. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you, Courtney and Kelsey. Nora and Annie ask, my dad wants a snake, but my mom thinks they smell bad. Could you tell her that they don't? So kind of ask. But no, they snakes don't smell themselves, but their poop does. So as long as you clean up after them. They only smell once a week. Unless you get a poop snake that poops twice a week, like bull snakes. That's true, bull snakes like to poop a lot. And then they spread it everywhere. Samantha wants to know how she can get you to do a birthday party for her, but she lives in Arizona. Aww, I wish I could do a birthday party for you, but we just do parties in Minnesota and Wisconsin. Yeah, unfortunately. But you could come to our facility when we open in, because of COVID, probably September this year, and I could do your birthday party there. There we go. Ooh, Alyssa sent you. Oh, solid dark chocolate. Yeah. Sweet, thank you. Evan sent you something new this time. Ooh. He sent you Pokemon cards. So nice. More Pokemon cards, oh, which cool are things, awesome. Evan. But he also sent you a bunch of North Star hockey cards. Oh, from which, Minnesota North Stars? Minnesota North Stars. Wow, that That's is an old. old old time cards because the Minnesota North Stars moved a long time ago. This is from 85. These are like vintage. And they're from my, at least, home state yep. team, the North Stars. Before they became the Houston Stars, I think. Oh, well, you mean where they moved where to? Where they moved to yeah, and then the true. Wild came in. That's true. That's true. My dad is a huge North Star slash now Wild fan, so I'm gonna yeah, maybe ask those him. Will make it into his collection. Yeah, we'll have to see what he has to say about these. This is really cool. I have from Claire a snake discovery decal. Oh, nice. This is like a legit yeah. car window decal. I'll just put that on something. Elena sent us something teeny tiny and wrapped up in here. Ooh, 
The tiniest of tiny shark teeth. That's cool. Baby shark. Do 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 do. Baby shark teeth. Do 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 do. Okay, I'm done. She also sent really cute name tags. Thanks, Elena. Uh, this is sent from Austin. This is probably the coolest artwork I've ever seen on a Pokemon card. Whoa. Like, I don't Whoa. even care about Houndoom because, I mean, Houndoom, I've, used, yeah. I've used him and he's a good Pokemon, but Whoa. that is awesome artwork. That is really cool I artwork. I also sent you a bunch more. Whoa. Thanks, Austin. But that one really caught my eye. It's intense. Wow. Yeah, it is. Nice. Thank you. So, thank you, Austin. Emily sent us Cutesy Rex, Cyborg Rex, and Pokemon cards. And she was so sweet. Cyborg Pokemon cards? Cyborg Pokemon cards. And $2 for Rex. Thank you. She also asked, when will your facility open? We were planning on June of 2020, but because of COVID, probably September. Yeah, September or later. Who knows? Yeah, with we'll COVID, who knows? And now riots. Like, we're waiting Ugh. on uh, building permits at this point. Yeah, we got the building permits approved, but it's taken like a month and they still haven't given us the building permits, yeah. so that's fun. On the other hand, Tyler sent us some decor, a half log. Oh, cool. Thanks, Tyler. We can cool. use that for our reptiles. And and a sneaky snake. Aww, a sneaky snake. A sneaky snake. I like how you posed him. Confetti! Conf oh, wow. That just went everywhere. I don't think that was supposed to be confetti, but it worked really well as confetti. Yeah. Ah, I love it. It's like we won a game show. So Evie sent us this adorable little handmade figurine of Aww. Pikachu. Her name is Evie? Evie, yep. That's cool. And then she has some questions. Okay. Is it possible to mix a super conda and a lavender hog nose? Yes. Okay, so assuming there were no other genes in play, you had just a super conda and just a lavender, all the babies would be conda het lavender. So they'd look just like normal condas, but they'd carry the lavender tra trait. That's a tough one, because the lavender is recessive, and the super conda is a co-dominant trait. If that didn't make any sense, you should watch our genetics video, because yep. I just realized how confusing that probably was. What is your favorite Wings of Fire character? Hers is Clay. My favorite character is probably Glory, the rain wing. Her and her relationship with the other dragon down the line, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, is really fun. Thank you, Evie, for the chocolate, the Pikachu, and the questions. Good questions. Phoenix, I love your candy cane drawing. The stripes are adorable. I also want to thank you for the dollar. That was really nice of you. That'll go right to Rex. Speaking of Wings of Fire, Jaden sent you Clay from Wings of Fire. Oh, we were just Clay talking. Clay figurine. Cool, it's yeah. Clay. Oh, the mud wing. He That's also awesome. sent you pendant. Oh, cool, he made a pendant. It turned out really good. Nice it job on did. this. They also want to know, have we ever had a monitor, and do they make good pets? Uh, yeah, I mean, depending on the type, and if you have enough space, we have some Timor monitors over there in bed right now, so you can't see them, but yeah, we like them, and monitors are good yeah. pets if you know how to take care of them, right? We will be getting a handful of monitors for the uh, facility. Mm-hmm. So, I don't have a name on here, but it's uh, the Shadow, Shadow V-I-S Drake. Okay. On all those platforms. Sent us... A bunch of enclosures of our animals, like Cheyenne. Aww, it's a, oh, that's cool, a And they're figurine. all made out of like recycled parts. So here's like our turtle set up. Oh, cool. And we have. He made an Exoterra. Yeah. Look at that. He made the lychee. There she is, oh cool. Salamander that doesn't want to change into a salamander. <laughs> Look at him, there he is. He made a steak. Uh, the gar a garter enclosure. Oh my gosh, he made so many of these. Or they made, I don't know who sent this, but they made so many of these. Oh, a green tree python Oh enclosure. my gosh. And it's funny because that's exactly what happens to those white poles that I put up with silicone. They fall down like that. Oh, he made it realistic. Yeah. Wow. Oh, it's nearly headless Nick. Oh. Because he had his own little enclosure. Aww. Even Ugh. a nearly headless Nick enclosure. He even made... The uh, humidity box in the corner. Yep. Wow. The attention to detail on these is yeah. incredible. You got like all of their hides and their perches and decor right. Guys, you should totally check this person out. This person has some mad skills. We have a miniature version of so many of our animals now. You made them look like actual exoterras too. 
There's even a heat lamp on top and screen yep. tops. And a UVB. Oh my gosh. Uh, one of them. Okay, I need to give a shout out to some amazing people who sent Pokemon cards. We have these cute cards, which are apparently some of Lexi's favorites. And I don't have a name for this person, but they sent us some cool cards here. And Allison sent us a couple, including a holographic Bulbasaur. That's awesome. Evie sent us some as well. I really like that holographic Char um, Growlithe Charmander. That Growlithe is awesome. Emma sent some cool cards. Look at all of those. Ooh, Glaceon. Jacob sent us some nice originals. There's a Tangela in here and kind of an original Heracross. Ooh, Drowsy, love it. And the snake theme from Evan, Ekans and Arbok, sweet. I can't find a name on this one, but there's all sorts of cool cards in this one. Thank you so much. Next, I want to show you guys some of the pet pictures that were sent to us. These are people's pets who watch our videos. Oh, there's one of Cheyenne. Well, not Cheyenne. This one has more feathers than Cheyenne, but that's a beautiful blue and gold. And moving on to stickers, Carol sent us some Hayao Miyazaki stickers. I love that from Spirited Away. Oh, and Ponyo, that's adorable. We also got some cool stickers from Exotic Exchange. These will have to go on our racks. And finally, some cute stickers from, I think, Courtney? I could be reading that wrong. I'm sorry if I am, but cute stickers as well. Thank you, everyone, so, so much. All right, well, this is probably going to be the last package. We made it through most of what we wanted to. That box never got touched. But this last package, I was going to open until I read the name that it came from. The Chocolate Fetish. Oh. I don't think I can actually open this with you in the room. I think this has to be bestowed upon you really? to open uh, that. I think this box was meant for me. Watch, it's a prank. It's like Brussels sprouts yeah. inside. What is that? There's a lot in here. Oh no. Came with a cool pack, which is actually still cool. Ooh, there's a note. There is a note. It's a little wet, <laughs> I think, from the cool oh, pack. Oh, probably. The note says... Help me hatch. Help me hatch. Hi, Emily and Ed. Y'all are wonderful. Oh, she's from down south. Yeah. Y'all are wonderful. I've been watching your channel since I first got my snake in 2017. Finley is an albino corn snake. She's about seven years old now and is about as chill as a corn snake can be. She's not even head shy. No. She'd make a great show snake. You can see her on my Instagram at Susanna.Barker. Keep up the great work. Sincerely, Susanna. What is it, Emily? Yeah, now what is it? Okay, the clue is help me hatch. Yeah. My guess is... Chocolate egg in there? Chocolate eggs. Or a chocolate egg. That Ooh. is like one big chocolate egg. It is one giant chocolate egg. Well, we need to see what's There's in it now. There's something inside of it. Yeah. Do we crack it open? I think we have to. I mean, there might be something in there that needs help. That's true. How do I crack it? That's up to you. If you want to eat that much chocolate right now, go for it. Okay. Oh my Jeez. gosh, that is solid chocolate. Oh, there's little sprinkle covered chocolates. Oh, and is that a dinosaur? Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch. Little dinosaurs. Oh, I wonder if these are dinosaur like eggs then. Whoa! We hatched the chocolate dinosaur egg! This is so cool! I've never experienced chocolate like that before. So for anyone interested on where this chocolate egg came from, because it's just so cool, um, it's from the Chocolate Fetish. Award-winning handcrafted chocolates. Susanna, thank you so much. This is an epic way to end this video. Yes, it is. Thank you everybody so much for your amazingly generous gifts and thoughtful gifts too. You guys are so, so nice. We do read every letter that comes through and we will be including some artwork at the end of this video so that we can include a little bit more. Although we do apologize that we're not able to show everything that we receive. Although we do appreciate every little bit of it. You guys are so generous. As always, thank you to our Patreon backers for supporting our channel as well. We are so lucky to have so many supportive people in our lives. Like, I just, every time, I am at a loss of words, honestly, by how nice you guys all are. So thank you so much for everything, everybody. 
I'm going to enjoy some dinosaur chocolate. Yep, Emily's got her dinner for uh -huh. tonight. Yep, that whole thing. Yep. And we'll see you next time.